wasn't that it was my behavior was focused towards women. It was I was carefree in front of groups and crowds of people. If you see on that footage of me kissing the waitress, I also kissed male bartenders. I was high-fiving people going with bar bottle service. For the countless time, Sean Diddy Combs has been hit by another major scandal as actor Cuba Gooding has sued him for leaking his Making Love tape. Cuba Gooding Jr., who is fighting those allegations of groping a woman here in New York City. Well, tonight here, surveillance video obtained by TMZ. It is the latest lawsuit from countless others that has seen Diddy feature as the main character. This time, it wasn't for an assault but for the leakage of a making love tape involving Cuba Gooding and one other superstar. Let's check it out. Somebody, not Cuba, but somebody else had to tell her to please excuse herself. Sean Diddy Combs has been at the heart of myriad controversies in recent times, and his life is beginning to look like a movie series of endless scandals. These scandals became more intense following the raids on his properties by Homeland Security. This event has not only made Sean Diddy Combs become the headline of many news for very wrong reasons, but it has also renewed interest in a lawsuit filed against Sean Diddy Combs in February. Rodney Lil Rod Jones sued the 54-year-old and is asking for $30 million in damages after accusing Diddy of intercourse trafficking, abuse, forced drug use, fraud, and making love assault. The music producer claimed he has suffered psychologically since working with Diddy on his The Love Album Off The Grid record and that the music mogul failed to pay him for his efforts. The lawsuit has incriminated Diddy and other superstars like Cuba Gooding, Young Miami and her cousin. However, it's Cuba Gooding who has made his comeback with a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs claiming Diddy was responsible for the leaked Making Love tape. Before we get into this, let's take a brief look at Jones's lawsuit where it all began. Rodney Lil Rod Jones filed the lawsuit on Monday, March 25, 2024, in federal court, naming actor Cuba Gooding Jr., along with Combs as perpetrators of intercourse assault. The lawsuit was topped with a red trigger warning for graphic information of an intercourse nature, as well as redacted images showing a shooting and minors. The lawsuit was filed the same day and just a few hours after Homeland Security investigations agents raided Combs' homes in Los Angeles and Miami, Jones said in the lawsuit that he was first introduced to Combs in August 20th, 22, when a representative asked him to produce songs on a forthcoming R&B album to be called The Love Album Off The Grid. According to the lawsuit, Mr. Jones agreed and his life has been detrimentally impacted ever since. It's very scary um, for myself and, you know, it has me worried about my kids and, you know, just sleeping with anxiety and, and different things like that. So just moving forward. When Jones began working with Combs in Sept 2022, he said that he lived with the celebrity for months and was not allowed to leave to return to his family for birthdays, major family events or holidays. While producing nine songs for the album, Jones alleged that he was witness to and in fact forced to record hundreds of hours of criminal activity that included drug use and intercourse with prostitutes. Notably, Jones previously named Gooding in his February lawsuit, accusing the actor of intercourse, harassing and assaulting him on a yacht rented by Combs, 54, in the U.S. Virgin Islands in January 2023. Gooding wasn't listed as a defendant until now. Cuba Gooding Jr. has been accused of intercourse assault and intercourse harassment in a lawsuit originally filed by music producer Lil Rod last month. According to the lawsuit, Combs attempted to pass off Jones to the 56-year-old actor, introducing him to the Oscar-winning actor and leaving the two alone in a studio on Combs' yacht. Mr. Jones believes Mr. Combs was grooming him to pass him off to his friends. This fear became a reality when Mr. Combs introduced Mr. Jones to Cuba Gooding Jr. while they were on Mr. Combs' yacht. According to Mr. Jones, during the introduction, Mr. Combs suggested that Cuba get to know Mr. Jones better. He then left them alone in a makeshift studio on the yacht. Cuba Gooding Jr. began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones's legs, his upper inner thighs near his groin, the small of his back near his buttocks, and his shoulders, Jones's lawsuit alleged. The complaint included a photo that purportedly showed, along with a picture that allegedly showed Combs and Gooding talking on the yacht. Jones included photos with the lawsuit, which he said showed Gooding with his arm around Jones, touching, groping, and fondling his legs upper thighs near his ground, the small of his back and his shoulders. Jones said that Gooding did not stop until Mr. Jones forcibly pushed him away. 
Combs failed to step in and stop Gooding from intercourse assaulting Jones, the lawsuit stated. With the allegations on ground, Diddy has added some more to the evidences against Gooding. With not just photos of his intercourse assault against Jones, but also clips and footages where he was seen groping and fondling Jones. While Jones's pictures were evidence, there was a possibility that they wouldn't be deemed sufficient for a good judgment against the Oscar-winning actor. However, with Diddy leaking the footage, the court has been provided with more than enough evidence to judge Cuba Gooding Jr. accordingly. But Gooding didn't welcome this pleasurably, as he has wasted no time in filing a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs for leaking the tape that has gone quite viral. But there were also more crime details in Jones's 73-page lawsuit. Alongside Cuba Gooding, who has now joined the list of defendants, there are individual photos of the defendants, including Universal Music Group CEO Lucian Charles Grange. Many of the photos are professional headshots, but there are some candid photos of Diddy's son, Justin Combs, and a close-up photo of Diddy himself. Other photos for background include Jones in a studio with other musicians. And from there, the photos become more graphic and incriminating. Two photos showed what Jones claims was the aftermath of a shooting in a music studio restroom where a man only identified as G was shot. The photos show blood, clothes, and paper towels strewn across the restroom. Jones alleged Diddy and his crew forced him to lie about the events of the evening on September 12, 2022. The music producer alleged they were at a music writer and producer's camp at Chalice Recording Studio when Diddy's son Justin and G were having a heated conversation that ended up in the restroom. Jones said gunshots rang out shortly after and people gathered around the restroom when he noticed G was bleeding and he was afraid he might be shot next. He was the only one that assisted G and got him to the ambulance, with Diddy allegedly telling people to say the shooting happened outside the studio. The lawsuit includes a screenshot from a news article that reported the shooting happened outside the studio, which Jones says is incorrect. The next series of claims covered a range of intercourse assault incidents that Jones claimed happened to him. The first lot of photos showed screenshots of two men appearing to be engaged in an intercourse act, which Jones said Diddy forced him to watch, telling him one of the men, who was named in the suit, was an esteemed musician that Jones admired. The lawsuit claimed Diddy used Jones' admiration of the musician to groom and entice him to engage in homo-intercourseuality. Diddy allegedly told Jones that homo-intercourseuality is a normal practice in the music industry. 24 hours ago with those live aerials at the time. Well, now those reps for Combs say that this was, and I'm quoting here, a gross use of military level force. And the Next was a series of stills from a video from a party that happened on Thanksgiving in 2022. They showed Jones and Diddy at the party, but also rapper Young Miami and her cousin. Jones says he believed Diddy told Young Miami's cousin to follow him into the bathroom to offer intercourse services, and when he rejected her advances, she followed him back to the party and tried to have intercourse with him in front of the other attendees. Jones says the music mogul also forced him to take cocaine at the party. It was after this that some of the stills showed Gooding Jr. in close proximity to Jones, which the lawsuit said showed the actor touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones's legs, his upper inner thighs near his groin, the small of his back near his buttocks and his shoulders against his will. It was on the details of this photo that Gooding has sued Diddy Combs for leaking the tape. Also in the lawsuit, Jones accused Diddy of intercourse trafficking and forcing him to procure intercourse workers for him when they were in Miami. Photos showed some of the alleged intercourse workers, but their faces were blacked out. Some of the photos also showed the strip club called Booby Trap on the River, where Jones said Diddy sent him to find the intercourse workers, even though Jones didn't want to do it. Mr. Combs provided Mr. Jones with an exclusive bad boy baseball cap and required him to wear it to Booby Trap on the River as a signal to any intercourse worker he approached that Mr. Combs was in town and had sent Mr. Jones to recruit them. The lawsuit read, Another explosive claim in the suit alleged Diddy drugged Jones and the latter woke up in bed finding himself with two intercourse workers and Diddy. Two photos in the suit allegedly showed the intercourse workers and Diddy sleeping in a bed. In addition, one allegation was that Diddy regularly partied with intercourse workers and underage girls. The suit showed multiple video stills with Diddy dancing with women whose faces are blacked out but claimed they are underage or intercourse workers. 
Some of the remaining images include alleged threatening messages from DeForest Taylor, the A&R manager at Diddy's Love Records label, to Jones after he tried to get the money Diddy owed him for his music producing work. The lawsuit also compared Christina Corum, Diddy's chief of staff, to Ghislaine Maxwell, who is serving 20 years in prison for intercourse trafficking women and girls for her ex-boyfriend, the notorious businessman Jeffrey Epstein. The lawsuit even included a photo of Corum sitting beside Diddy on a lounge in a similar photo to one of Epstein and Maxwell. It was important to defendant Corum to have Mr. Combs's drug of choice immediately ready when he asked for it, the suit read, and also claimed she required all staff from butlers to housekeepers to walk around with a pouch full of different illicit drugs should Diddy want them at any moment. The suit also alleged, Koram ordered intercourse workers and prostitutes for Mr. Combs, and includes photos of the drug Tusi, which is a combination of ecstasy and cocaine. It remains to be seen how and when Diddy or his team of lawyers would respond to Gooding's lawsuit, however. It can be concluded that only a miracle would get Diddy out of this swamp of messes. That's all for now on the latest celebrity news and gossip. For more updates on events, moments, and celebrity news in the entertainment industry, stay connected with us by liking this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications to get alerted when we drop quality contents like this.